Here we are at the Readin booth with yes. uh, designer and co-owner Damien. How's it going? Yeah, all good. So super um, stoked. Wicked. Uh, so a lot of people might not know, will know Readin as a kite brand with you and Kevin being so prolific in that sport. Um, but you also have wings. Oh. I mean, it's kind of a, a given, you know, I'm yeah. on Maui. Uh, that's where pretty much the sport started and I got into it as early as I could. I had an injury that kicked me out, but as soon as I was on the water, I went to the winging and uh, of course I want to make toys that I could play with. And nice. uh, so I started designing some and I got the chance to be there right there early on, made a lot of prototypes. And so, you know, learn a lot um, before everybody got into the sport so that was good that's why we, i feel like we have a, a line of product that's already very advanced mm -hmm. um we obviously a lot of people heard about of our super wing x uh yeah. here which we were the first one using uh the x ply material uh, that is see-through but that's really not the main idea of uh yeah. of the x ply the x ply was really because that material is just so much stiffer um than regular uh canopy Cool. So much stiffer and stronger, so it gives a much more direct feel. Um, so it kind of like means it targets the the, the client that would want to the rider that would want to be on the Super Wing X is um, like a more advanced guy that wants to ride fast, uh, jump higher, uh, point upwind, kind of race with his friends. Uh, because this wing just has higher performance, um, it's a little more technical maybe in some ways, like the. Uh, it requires a little bit of a different um, pumping technique, for example, to start. But once you know how to do it, it actually generates more power because it's so much more efficient than, uh, than canopy material because there's so much less movement in the material. It's, uh, it's a lot stiffer. It's, a little more, it's very isotropic, which means the material is stiff in every direction, while canopy is only strong in the, in the direction of the yarns. So we have a material that just, um, yeah, just doesn't deform as much. So, you know, like a, a canopy wing after some time kind of change the shape. Yeah. With the X-ply, you keep the shape, you know, for pretty much forever. Yeah. The other thing that's pretty cool is it's so much stronger if you drop a foil into it. Um, it's not gonna well, if you're it, still but... gonna have a little hole, but it's gonna stop at the black rib stop. Right. So you can keep on riding. Uh, the material is gonna glue very well if you want to put like a sticker on it to fix it. Yep. While, you know, canopy, you know how it is. If the foil goes through, the whole wing goes. Right. So that's a lot stronger. Um, but yeah, like a very like, you know, very high performance wing um, for like good wingers. It's absolutely awesome. Uh, like I say, you just, you feel it. You just jump higher and just got more power when you win your hands. Also better high end control because the wing doesn't deform as much as a canopy wing. So you, you get very, uh, very good control when you're sheeted out and a very positive, like all my wing, I really work on like, I really like when they have natural lift, especially when you put them above your head doing attack. To me, it's really important that they don't press you down, but they keep on flying up. So then you, you kind of like go up when easier, you got more time to switch your feet, switch your hands. Um, so that's really important to me. And this one, because the, the uh, stiff profile, it naturally keeps on lifting even more than our regular super wing that already was is pretty awesome at like lifting above your head. Amazing. So they're both the same shape? They're similar shape. Uh, the profile is a little different because the X ply uh, requires like deform less, so we, we change the profile. Uh, but they both have something that's um, very important is they're very rigid in the center here. This is where most your load is going. You're holding the wing from your from your center strut and then the wing is just trying to bend. So uh, what we do on these is we have a um, double layer of material in the leaning edge here uh, that spreads out on the top and on the bottom here. So it really acts like a, your leaning edge is kind of like an I-beam. Yeah. So top and bottom layer are doing most of the work. Air is doing the center of the I-beam if you look at an I-beam like that. Mm -hmm. So if you pump it up enough, there's no collapsing of the, of the leaning edge. 
So it really your top layer, when, when the wind's pushing on it, is being pulled on and then the inside is being compressed. So because material, the material is stronger at pull versus compression, we also have a third layer here in the, in the, in the leaning edge. Okay. Uh, that prevents the buckling of that part of the lineage. So you can see when you get on our wings that they're very direct. Um, and so in the end, that means they're more powerful. You know, I, I can really go on a, on a smaller wing than most people usually mm -hmm. because I'm just more efficient. There's less of that deformation and I don't have to get a very big leaning edge like you know you may need to get the same kind of stiffness yeah. uh, if you didn't have all that extra construction um, so that yeah that makes a wing that's a lot more efficient you really like you know I can go on a 3.6 and some of my friends are gonna be on like a 4.5 of wow. some other brands and you can see there when they're jumping uh, these wings they just stay a lot more stiff so you have like more to um, you know hold against uh, when you're riding and if you're just a beginner it's also awesome because that means you can go on a little bit of a smaller wing, less bulky for you. Um, so that's that's a good thing. And um, yeah, also you know when it's light wind, go on a bigger wing. I've worked on like every wing has a different aspect ratio. Um, so the bigger ones, uh, if you if you use the same aspect ratio, they really bulky, be too tall for you. So they lower aspect, but also a lower aspect is more powerful. So it's it's a great thing in lighter wind because you're more efficient with your pumping so it kind of like works both in the right direction to have a kind of like a, a aspect ratio that evolves uh, depending on the size and what was your take on these handles that's well different? The, the idea was um that they're they're really solid this way so you have a lot of control mm -hmm. and um the sleeve here is like if they wear out you can you can uh, you can change it uh, over time and also the construction with the sleeve allows for uh, a lot more rigidity than uh, a regular just one webbing um, because we can actually you can't we cannot stitch through the amount of plastic we have here uh, the material we have the plastic inside it does the rigid the rigid filling uh, there's one layer that stitched through and then one layer in the handle so it's it's quite rigid and then it's high enough you can just grab it uh, and i see you have two a dump valve on yeah we have a little dump valve on the strut that helps to uh, help deflating faster and then we still have the the one pond valve here, so you still inflate from one, you know, uh, one one valve. Very cool. And yeah, and uh, we have a really awesome lines of foils too uh, that I'm really proud of. We we work with uh, uh, an amazing designer uh, on those. Um, he's called Kane Kane the Wild, and you probably know him. Hopefully, uh, he's a he's a young. I say young scientist of foiling from Maui that I've been working with for many years. As soon as I started making wings, actually we were testing wings together. And um, the foils, um, yeah, the approach was to make, the goal was to make easy foils that would still would go fast because I like to ride fast personally, but I'm not that good. So I want something that's super forgiving. Mm -hmm. uh, and, and Kane also loves to turn and like, you know, do really rad turns on the waves, so we wanted something that would be uh, very forgiving when you breach the wings out. So those wings are amazing. You can be like really close to the to the surface, get some of the foil out, and you keep control like like nothing happened, and that's uh, awesome to me. But the work was also on making low stall speed. Mm -hmm. Like I said, you know, if you're not that good, it's it's good that your foil still flies when you go slow. You know, if you tack, if you jibe, you don't want to do that full speed, but you still want the control. So we really worked on the, on that. And then uh, we have quite a short uh, fuselage because we have such a good combination of like the tail wing and uh, and the front wing, the stabilizer and the front wing. That one's been through a little bit of hell uh, in the rocks, <laughs> but. Um, that we, we could actually get away with a, a small, uh, a short fuselage, so it's, you know, more fun, uh, you know, it turns good, but it's also super stable. And then we, we do a carbon mast, uh, full carbon. Mm -hmm. We have a profile that we worked on to be really uh, forgiving for ventilation, so there's no ventilation. We've tried every possibility, loading as hard as possible, going as fast as possible, turning, jumping, everything. Because um, ventilation, you know, like a lot of people don't realize, they think their mast is soft maybe, 
but it really is just ventilation happening that gives you a feeling that your mast is bending. So the profile we've been working on, you can see when you're riding, there's very little um, drag behind you. You know, it's like you, the water is not really shooting up like you would see sometime on some foil that have a profile that may not, not be as good. And, uh, and we also have an aluminum mast. Similar profile, similar idea, uh, but obviously uh, aluminum for two things. Like some people like aluminum because it's also stiffer, especially in like torsion. Yeah. Um, but also, you know, a little less uh, expensive in terms of price. Um, but a little heavier, but the construction we have though is, is uh, quite light because we we only have uh, one I-beam in the center of the carbon mast. Okay. So that's uh, sorry of the aluminum mast. So there's a lot of uh, emptiness in it. So it's not it's not a heavy um, aluminum mast. I have it over there. I can show you later. Cool. But yeah, uh, and the foils come in 780, which is kind of like the um, kiting and high end winging. Then 980, which is in my eyes like your you're kind of good guy winging and then 1280 for the good guy winging that's a little heavier or the more of like the beginner entry level and then we have like the bigger ones 1480 1480 which is kind of like the go-to for most people that getting into the sport I would say 1880 for the bigger guys um, but 1880 also awesome like pumping uh, downwind stuff um, canes done like over half hour of pumping, pumping and grabbing it. waves on that 1880 and the wow. beauty is like because the stall speed so low you can actually pump and rest so because you yeah you know you don't have to because the thing you know nice. it's going to let you slow down enough yeah. that you're not losing uh, losing falling um so yeah complete range and really really i'm stoked here like the feedback we've been getting from people testing is you know, they're like, oh, you guys also make foils? And then they try like, oh, you actually make an awesome foil. And we didn't go like full on super as high aspect. I feel like those are great, the super high aspect, but they're, they have their limits. They're kind of like more technical and this is really, really friendly, you know, like, yeah. it, I feel like this is just, um, like I said, you know, it's like high end, but if you're not super good, uh, it's still super, super easy. So, Very cool. uh, but yeah, I mean, you know, we crank, we go super fast on those two. Yeah, but we can start. We can start uh, slow. Nice. So yeah. And, uh, you want to take us through your? Thank you so much. The, yeah, the boards. Um, uh, boards. We we have a complete line uh, from like the little 17 liters for uh, um, mainly for kiting, yeah, and then 35 liter, which is over there somewhere. That's your does it all size, you know, surf foiling kiting, winging, that's the one Kevin travels with. You know, that's the only board he has because then he does all three sports on it. Um, and then 50 liters. So that's the one over there? Uh, no, that's the, that's the smaller one. Yes, wow, that one. This thing's so light. It's really nice. Yeah, that's that one, John. Yeah, this one's like two years old. Oh, that. This one? Yeah. So that's you could kite and... Uh, yeah, kite, wing if you're good. You know, you're obviously good. it's a sinker. The sinker. Uh, and surf foil. So that's good. And the philosophy of uh, our boards is I try to make them like as short as possible and pack the maximum amount of volume in them. Um, the reason for being short in my eyes is that once you're up, uh, all that weight and length you have in front of you is really preventing you from turning because it's so much inertia. So by making it shorter, uh, the leverage of that uh, nose in front is like reduced to the minimum. Right. So you have boards that like, turn really well. And especially noticeable on like the 112 and 132, like for the bigger guys, they're, they're stuck on like having to ride longer boards and they can't really surf waves with them. But with those, uh, you can actually turn, you know, like do downwind, like all that stuff. The board is just reacts so much, you know, it's so much lighter because the weight's closer to you, the nose. So, so to, to achieve that, the boards are quite thick. Uh, we have a concave deck, which kind of like packs more volume, or more flotation per volume, because it acts like a, like a boat, pretty much, you know, like uh, the, the, those are kind of sidewalls. And then we have thicker nose. So for more volume at super low speed, uh, you know, when you're on your knees on the board, you need flotation. If the board was longer, uh, like I say, it'd be annoying because it's more, more weight really further, right, yeah. further away from you. Mm -hmm. But so we just add more, add more thickness, so we have more flotation in the, in the, in the board. Cool. And so we end up with like this 72 and it's only a 4.7, uh, 72 liters, 4.7. That's uh, really short. It's like as short as like, I don't know, maybe like a 40 liters of um, other, other brands. So it does ride like a super short board, even though you have the volume to start. 
Very cool. It looks very compact and yeah, that's that's, that's the whole idea. Nice lightweight setup, which is yeah. So cool. yeah, that's that's what uh, that's what we do. Wicked. Well, where uh, where can consumers find out more right. about reading? Reading.com. Uh, you learn everything, and also most are good. Most our retailers have a website, so you can go on your favorite. Uh, kite wing shop and they will have information for you and and we're uh, are sold like around the world in like 50 countries now so there's a lot of places in the world where you can actually learn and test uh, our gear awesome well thanks for taking us through that um, pleasure yeah.